Hey everyone, so today I re- So before we begin today's video, I just want to show you guys these two t-shirts that I received from a subscription service called T-Blocks. So their boxes start from $6.99 and I'll leave their information down in the description below. I'll be inserting some pictures of me wearing these guys and this is actually a Pokemon t-shirt and it's super super soft and it's super cute. This is a Beauty and the Beast t-shirt and it's also really soft as well. So I will input all the pictures right over in the next clip. Hey everyone, so today I received another review package from Banggood.com. I will be leaving all the information down in the description below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video. So the first thing we have here is this Mimi Puppy by Popular Boxes. The packaging is super cute, it has some balloons over here. And it seems really, really soft and slow rising, so I'm just going to take this little puppy out. So Mimi over here is really, really soft and she smells like peaches. She is so, so slow rising and I just love the texture of her. You can feel like the little hair over here and it has a leash around her and the popular licensing is right over here. Wow, she is so, so slow rising and super cute. I like the little tail at the back and the little flower here. And she has twinkly eyes. So the next thing we have here is this Orca Panda and I did have this one in the pink version as you can see over here. And I did have a video on this, the packaging looks the same. Except it has a panda banana here and it feels really soft and I'm just going to take this little guy out. So here is the little panda squishy out of packaging. It looks kind of different from the pig one because it has the rainbow color on the banana and it obviously is a panda. But also the ears don't really look like panda ears, they rather look like cat ears. It's super super soft and slow rising. Super satisfying to squish and it has a sweet fruit scent to it and I can't really identify what fruit it smells like but it definitely has a fruity scent to it and it's really soft and this normally this type of softness I would expect like a poof of air but there was no poof of air so it's actually quite nice to squish look at that it holds my hand marks so well so satisfying to watch it just rise. And then here is the Doriaki and this is the red bean Doriaki. It is so nice. It looks so real and it feels really really soft. It's slow, it's slow rising but not too slow rising. So I'm going to take him out. He actually kind of has a bit of a red bean scent to it. I don't know if I'm dreaming, and he feels kind of real too, like the real Doriaki. Oh, and this has like some texturing here for the red beans. It's really, really smooth actually. I'm quite impressed with this. I don't think it's branded, but it is really well made. I don't see any defects on this, maybe some little manufacturing defects on the seals, but that's pretty normal. So I also got this Yumino Chef Bear in the chocolate color. It smells so, so nice and it looks just like my other one. And unfortunately it came in a packaging where the package was open so I just took it out. And it's just super, super soft. It is definitely 100% the real thing. It smells amazing. Really slow rising. And of course the really cute little cake over here. And for those of you interested, here's what the packaging looks like. I mean, it wasn't broken open, it was just kind of open here, so I just took it out anyway. 
It's really nice, except there's a barcode here. Next, we have this Yumino Chef Bear in the vanilla flavor. And once again, the barcode's over here with some Japanese writing. And here's what the back looks like. And for those of you who love it when I squish it in packaging, here you go. So this vanilla bear kind of smells like a sweet vanilla yeast scent, I'm not too sure. But once again, it feels really, really soft. And it's really nice to squish. I love the texture of Yumino Bears and Yumino Squishies. And the cake looks the same. It has the really cute eyes and it has a pink tail. I never really do up close reviews, but this is what it looks like up close. You can see the Yumino right here. It's actually quite well made, the seams. I don't really see much defects on it. And it's actually really soft squishy, so I'm surprised they don't have much defects on the seams. It's really cute overall. Do you see that cake with the plate? No, so cute. And since I did it for the vanilla bear, here is the up-close version of the chocolate bear. I can see some air bubbles here. I mean, it is well made overall. I love like how the plates are so detailed. And it has a brown tail. Look at that squish in the licensing. Isn't it satisfying just looking at me squish this? Also, I just noticed one special thing about this squishy. It actually is missing the three lines on the chef hat, so it's quite rare. I'm so happy about this. The last thing we have in this package is this Jolly Cat. It is in the gray color, and this is what the packaging looks like. It comes in four different types of cats, and this is the Angel Girl, and this is the barcode. It feels quite soft, but I'm just going to take this guy out. Here it is, it's super flat looking and it feels really, really soft. It reminds me of the other dog squishy that I have. I'm not too sure what the name is, I forgot. But it is super cute. It has a really flat surface over here. And so, so slow rising. Look at that. It holds my hand crinkles as Helicopter would say. This little guy is baby powder scented, and I absolutely love the smell of baby powder scented squishies. They're super amazing, just like Nanny the Panda, and the Angel Doll, and a lot more different squishies that smell like baby powder. So here is the Angie licensing, so this is actually by Angie. And you can see the details of the squishy. It is pretty cute, I would say. And really, really squishable. Kind of reminds me of a sushi, actually. So that is all for today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like down below, and also subscribe for future videos. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you guys later.